Okay, I just simply get something. Okay, let's say my Samsung earbud. Okay, so it's just for example. Huh? Okay, of course, there is no port for me to like start inside just for example. Okay, everyone, can you see this is like one head there, one USB head there, and there's another Type C head there, right? Hello, everybody, Liang J Mathematics here. Today, we're going to talk about two main things in our networking graph theory. So, basically, I'll talk about like all the names, all the specific names, not, not detailed questions, everyone. And after the names, I'll go into like the formats, everything. And the second part of the video, which is not this video, we're going to talk about like how to solve it using like some special method, very powerful method on how to construct a graph. Okay, come, let's get started. So today, we're going to talk about this specific book where I will link it in my description below. So in the description, you will be able to detach these very special notes where I handwritten it. Okay, um, so I'm not going to, going to go through like every single question because this is like the version where it's a quick run through, you know. Okay, let's do it. So I will start up with uh, the names. Okay, I'll start with the names and this thing, again, I will say in the description below, you will, you will be able to get the specific notes okay so you can download it and you follow me that would be best yeah okay step one we're gonna understand like some names towards it and as long uh, as i go through all the names everything i will tell you like what is network graph theory la what you use it for la i will straight jump to it okay so let's do it now first of all you see a very huge big button there so what's that called that's called the vertex guys Okay, that's called the vertex. And of course, this line over here where it connects between the two vertex, you see that? Like vertex 1 and vertex 2 over here, right? The line in the middle that, we name it as the E, D, G, E, H. Ah, okay. Then the next one will be, student will say, teacher, what kind of graph is this? Okay, I would say, this is a simple graph. Okay, why is it a simple graph? Okay, why is it a simple graph? Number one, you haven't go through a very specific name called loops. You haven't go through another specific name called multiple ages. We will talk about it in a while. Okay, so back to this. This is a simple graph, but student will say, teacher, I think uh, this one we can put a uh, direct, uh, undirected graph, a uh, non-directional. Yes, you're right. Okay, so I'll put there, this is undirected graph. What is the meaning of undirected graph? It means uh, there is no arrows between them. Okay, or maybe some of you might say, teacher, non-directional can or not? Yes, you're right. So I will give you all the specific names where it links to this topic. Okay, can. And of course, student will say, teacher, how about the degrees and stuff? Okay, let me show you what's the meaning of degrees. So far, right, let's don't talk about too far first. We talk about this specific graph over here. As you can see, this vertex over here, can you tell me how many lines shooting towards it? Easy. One line shooting towards it. Another line shooting towards it. Can you see two lines shooting towards one vertex there? So I will write it in a specific way. Let's say this is A and this is B vertex and this is C vertex. I will place it over here so it will be more specific for you to view it. So everyone, quite obvious that your degree for A indicates how much? Two. You can see like A over here, how many degrees? Like one line shooting towards it, another line shooting towards it. I will think that way, okay? So you have two of them. Of course, when you look at it, as you can see, there's how many lines shooting towards B, like one over here and one over here. So B will be D for B, it's obviously a two as well. And same applies to your C. So degree for C, it's obviously two as well. So everyone, if you total up, you notice that the sum of degree is two plus two plus two, it will be a total of six. Okay, everyone. So this is like quite obvious, like down to earth, like very specific one. So now I will go into some formats on how you break down like all the vertex and stuff. Everyone, you can see that the vertex black color dot there, I place that A, B and C, right? So now I'm going to present like how you're going to write in detail. V indicates vertex, double dot over here and open a set bracket. And you're going to put like the specific vertex inside everyone. So we have our A, B, and C. Close it. Got it? And next, when you, got, when you talk about this H thing, right, it will be the line basically, okay? The H will be the line. So everyone, we will present it this way. Okay, now, so I'm going to put like E stand for H, double dot, open a bracket, and now specific H, it will be the specific line that we talk about. And obviously, when you talk about the first line, right, okay, always when I do it, I start off with, vertex okay so this is what i do everyone so i will go to a i put a cross and tell myself there is how many lines that links a uh, to other vert, vert, uh, vertices so you can see this a c over here i'll put a bracket a comma c close then after that i will have, i will have like a to b so a comma b stop 
Okay, another one over here. And next, let's check our B. So I cancel off the B. Okay, so I'll place like uh, B to A. Sorry, as you can see, A, B is there already, right? Ah, so I'll just leave it there. So the next one will be your B, C. La. So I put that B and C. Okay, so once you place that B, C done ready, you check out your C. Basically, it's like highlighted, right? Using the red color line. So done, there will be a total of three. So now, I will write it using another format where they might ask you this way as well. Okay, everyone. So number of V equals to three. Number of E, which is the ages, it will be three as well. And there's a very specific, important formula that you need to know. So everyone, do you notice there is a total of three ages there? So number of ages is 3, your sum of degree, your sum of degree, it's always double of your ages. So it will be 2 times H, answer equals to 6, as you can see the H is 3 over here. Lah. Okay, so you times you get 6 already, so that's like the formula to straight get your answer. Okay, now, everyone, I'll write a specific uh, what's it called like formats on how they present the sum of degree. So this is another way to present sum of degree everyone. So we have This is a sigma symbol and we have D. Okay, so sum of degree and this will be V V will be every single vertex lah. So when you sum them up, it's a very obvious six I will put the arrow here again. You can use two times with three which is the formula to straight get your total six and there is a very important message from Leonard Euler, which is the the, in, in your textbook itself, there is a very specific name there, okay, it talks about like uh, Leonard Euler's contribution towards like the network thing, right? So, it says that your graph, okay, a graph must be even number as in your sum of degree. It must be even number, so this is important. Okay, so that's the first part of it, and now I'll do a quick recap using the love math symbol, right? So I'll move down here, okay, just a quick one, like super fast, okay, everyone, quite obvious that, what is this again? Simple graph, undirected graph, non-directional graph, right? So when you go into like the first one, it says V, so we have like, sorry, it missed out something, can you put one? You put like one there. So the first one comes in really using like blue color pen, guys. Okay, so the first one, V dot dot open bracket, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it? Okay, so you notice that I write like quite fast for the first thing, right? Okay, for the first like example. So when you come to the second example, when you do it with me, right, you'll be like super fast. Okay, you can pause it and you can replay again. Nice. Okay, now, so next, the number of vertices, okay, vertices, vertices, depends on how you read it, right? So, there is a total of six, done. Done, right? Okay, next, we have our E, which is ages. So, ages equals to, then you open a set bracket. So, I will start off with number one. So, when I start off with number one, why not use a different color? It will be easier for you to like, uh, recognize them, right? Okay, now, so I will put a cross here for one. So, I have one, two, and three. So, let's list it out. So, one to two and you have one to three, you have one to six. Okay, now, student might say, teacher, how about if I write two, two to one? No problem. But condition is you skip out the one to two. Okay, now, the next one, you cancel off your number two, so you have what? Two to one, uh, two to one cannot. Uh, so you have two to three. Okay, then after that, you cancel off your number three, you notice that two lines is already connected, right? It's already there. So we have three, four and three, five. So we have three, four, and 3, 5. Then we cancel out number 4. We have 1 there only. We have 4, 5. And eventually, look at number 5. You have 5, 6. And everybody, you notice that 6 is already there. Like, connected to like every line, right? So ignore that. So once you are done with this, let's check it out. Okay, so we have a total of how many of them? So we have like, uh, over here, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I put there, number of ages equals to 8. Okay, by the way, just check out the line scan already, everyone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nice. Okay, so let me erase all these irrelevant stuff and go back to our sum of degrees. Okay, everyone, think. Okay, recall. What is your sum of degree formula where I just mentioned it just now? It's always double of your ages, right? So you just put an arrow here, double of your ages. So 2 times ages. So 2 times with your ages of 8, you get a total of 16. Okay, so that will be a quick one to get your sum of degrees. But how if I want you to like break it down one by one? Okay, so why not we just try it like in a quick way in case like paper one, they ask you a specific way to pre uh, not present it, to circle it. When you put like some formats there, you get stuck, right? So that will be a best one, okay? So everyone, D1, okay, D1, 1, 2, and 3. Three lines shooting towards number 1, right? So you have 3. 
Degree of 2, let's look at it. Okay, erase this and look at 2. 1 and 2 lines shooting towards it. Nice. So we have 2 here. So degree of 3. Okay, you get degree of 3. How many of lines? How, how many lines shooting towards number 3? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you have 4 of them. Okay, you have 4 of them. So we have degree of 4 now. And of course, I just uh, quickly write down the rest of the 4, 5, and 6. So just look through it like in a fast way, everyone. So number 4, you have like 1 and 2. Okay, I just remember it and list it out in a while. So 4, you have 2. 5, you have 3. And 6, you have 2. So you have 2, 3, and 2. So let's total up everyone. Is that a total of 16? So you just take your calculator, quickly add them up. So you have your weight. Okay, I just put it over here. Uh, sigma, sigma means total, right? Degree, then vertices. You have your 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. So everyone, 5, 5, and 6. 16, done. So that's how you present. But again, I have to say, these are basic, like down to earth names as well as the format on how to present. So whether this thing comes out in your writing part, the paper two thing, I don't think so. It's not too easy already. Huh? Even if they come out, you know. Huh? Okay. So everyone, so over here, we have like, not we, you have like some specific questions to try it out. So if let's say you want me to check it, you can refer me in uh, Instagram. Okay. Can. So now, done really with your simple graph, uh, undirected. Okay. Undirected, non-directional. Okay. Done. So now we will skip 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 to something called the loop version okay the loop version so everyone now i'm going to talk about this multiple ages the loop thing now the loop thing so where is the loop sinchan 2.0 gonna tell you where's the loop can you see that loop here loop okay there's a loop here there's a loop here loop 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 ah okay next can you see that multiple ages thing where's the multiple ages c to d everyone h is the line right multiple a uh, multiple means what it means like a lot lah. So if let's say C to D, there is only one line there. Multiple means you have two lah. You have three lah. You have four. You can you, it can be like a lot. So loop it can be a lot as well. So that specific A point A vertex there, it can be it can be a few loops there. But of course I I I place there one loops right. Okay. So over here I'm gonna write like in detail again. So most of it you know already. It's just that I'm gonna present and show it to you right. Okay, everyone. So it's a quick go through. So suppose you watch through, okay, from the starting to the end, I tell you like steady pom pp. Everything is like so 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 obvious and clear. Okay, now so we have our vertex. So obviously vertex dot dot. Then you have your set bracket there. So that's how you present the proper format. So we have a b c d. Okay, let's do it. A b c d e f g h i j k l m n. So we have all these things like a b c d. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So close it. So how many of them? Number of vertices. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you have 14 of them. Done. So H. Okay, so uh, H. How many of them? So H dot dot open bracket with. Of course, H will be the lines, right? So let's go in a specific way. But let's start off with how you how you present your loops and multiple ages let's start with loops okay everyone let's start with a so i cancel off a because I'm, i i i always say that you start with a then you cancel those lines that links to a right so the first one you have this loop over here this is a loop okay you have this loop over here so i'm going to place it there a a close it that's a loop to show everyone okay that's a loop okay now a done really so you have your a b and a j so you have your a b and aj so next cancel off the b you have one line called bc you have another line called bl okay lb acceptable as well it's just that i'll start off one by one part by part without skipping them okay now you have bm okay so i place it over here you have bm okay next you have your c now okay you have c now oh c to d you have two repeated lines multiple ages guys so you have your cd two times CD two times. So this thing over here, I'll just draw an arrow to remind you that's the multiple ages. Okay, you see the multiple ages thing, the loop thing. Okay, I place it on top already. So everyone, I'll use ME to represent multiple ages. I'll use L to represent loop in like next video. Okay, so back to this, back to this. Done with this CD part already. I'll just highlight it to show you. 
So now DE, you have your DE. Then you cancel off the E, you have like what? You have like one line, okay, EL. Okay, you have EL. You have your EF. Okay, you have your EN. Okay, none. Okay, so we go to the next one, F. You have your FG. You see, I'm writing like everything one by one, but again, I have to say this is the format. Okay, so whether this will come out in your paper too, I don't really think so. Lah. Okay, so back to this. You have your GH. Okay, you have your GH. Then you have your HI. Then you have your IJ. Okay, you have your IJ. And next, you have your JK. JK. And of course, K you can cancel off already because it's like linked to your JK thing, right? So back to L, you have two of them. So you have L, LM. And you have your LN. Okay, nice. Everything done. So why not we do a quick count and see whether the lines match the combination that I placed there. Okay, so quick one up. So we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so you have 19. Everyone, just now I missed out this line here, but it's written there already. So let's see whether there's a total of 19 there or not. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So over here, 5 times 3, you get 15 already. So 15, add up another 4, you get a total of 19. Nice. So number of ages equals to 19. Okay, nice. So move down. What is your sum of degree, guys? Sum of degree, just total up the sum, uh, the, the, the ages where you have your total of 19. So 19 times 2, because I say it will be double of ages, right? You have a total of 38. So everyone, I'm not going to do like DA equals to what, all these things. Okay. I will just mention one very specific thing where student might miss out. Okay, D A D B D C. I'm not doing everything just one part, da. Okay, one part then uh, done done really. So everyone, I will just do one part and show everyone. Can you see that degree for A? So why not we think carefully? How many of them? Okay, how many degrees are there for this? Uh, for this vert uh, vertex A. Okay, everyone. Degree means the line that shoots towards A, right? So everyone. It go this way. Uh, see ya. Uh? So how many lines there? So one line going A, another line going A, and this thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you my power bank. Okay, my power bank. Okay, everyone, look at this. No, my power bank cable. Okay, everyone, this is my USB cable with a Type C port. Okay, now, so the thing is, the thing is, okay, I just simply get something. Okay, let's say my Samsung earbud. Okay, so it's just for example, uh, okay, of course, there is no port for me to like start inside, just for example. Okay, everyone, can you see this is like one head there, one USB head there, and there's another Type-C head there, right? So my question here is like this. If let's say one, one particular port, it shoots towards one, okay, let's say this is my vertex, okay? It shoots towards the vertex. So that's like one degree there already. There's one degree there already. So the thing is, how if this is a loop like this? Can you see there will be two heads there? So if let's say I connect it to a vertex, okay, you see I plug in. So can you see two heads shooting, okay? It goes into the vertex. So can you see these two things here? So that's called the two degrees. Okay, so I think that way. So I suppose that would be a better way for you to understand, right? So suppose uh, it go this way, everyone. Okay, let me draw like nicely for you one more time. So one degree, two degrees, and this thing being one and two. You see, it goes like, like this. Ah, so total there will be four there. Okay, so this is something where you have to slow. Uh, you have to be extra careful. Uh. So uh, just just one. Uh. So degree for B, just to tell you, degree for B, very obvious. One, two, three, and four. Uh, so degree for B, there will be four. So the rest, I will just leave it. So just to remind you on the loop thing. Loop, there is how many degrees? There is two degrees. Loop, there is how many H? Just one H. Because H means the line. There is only one line. Uh, but degree means the head. So you plug into it. So how many of them? Two. Okay, so that's how we understand like the details of it. Okay, so everyone, so name wise, how you present it for simple type of graph. Simple type of graph. Done. As well as I add in another one called the loop and the multiple ages. And now we're going to go into something called the directed graph. Okay, now let's move into directed graph. Yeah, okay, come, let's go to the next part. 